In this video, we will explore the SMU-35, a German U-31 class U-boat that served in the Mediterranean during World War I. It became the most effective U-boat of the conflict, sinking 220 merchant vessels and accumulating a total of 505,121 gross register tons GRT. Her longest serving captain was Lothar von Arnold de la Perriere. U-35 had a total length of 64.70 meters, 212 feet 3 inches, with her pressure hull measuring 52.36 meters, 171 feet 9 inches. The beam of the boat was 6.32 meters, 20 feet 9 inches, overall, while the pressure hull was 4.05 meters, 13 feet 3 inches, wide. Type 31 had a draft of 3.56 meters, 11 feet 8 inches, and a total height ranging from 7.68 to 8.04 meters, 25 feet 2 inches to 26 feet 5 inches. It has a total displacement of 971 tons, 956 long tons. On the surface, it weighed 685 tons, 674 long tons, and 878 tons, 864 long tons, when submerged. Type U-31 submarines featured a double-hull design and were ocean-capable vessels. These U-boats were regarded as excellent for open-sea operations. They offer average maneuverability and effective surface handling. The SMU-35 was equipped with two diving planes, one located at the front and the other at the back of the U-boat. It featured two periscopes. One was a larger periscope, intended for general observation and navigation, while the other was a smaller attack periscope specifically designed for submerged attacks to reduce the risk of detection. Additionally, it had an anchor positioned at the front. U-35 was equipped with two Germania six-cylinder two-stroke diesel engines, generating a combined output of 1,850 metric horsepower. 1,361 kilowatts, 1,825 brake horsepower for surface navigation. For underwater operations, it utilized two Seaman Schuckert double-acting electric motors, delivering a total of 1,200 PS, 883 kilowatts, 1,184 shaft horsepower. These engines drove two shafts, each fitted with a 1.60 meter, 5 feet 3 inch propeller and a rudder for steering. The vessel was able to achieve a maximum surface speed of 16.4 knots, 30.4 kilometers per hour, 18.9 miles per hour, and a submerged speed of 9.7 knots, 18.0 kilometers per hour, 11.2 miles per hour. The cruising range was impressive reaching up to 80 nautical miles. 150 kilometers, 92 miles, at 5 knots, 9.3 kilometers per hour, 5.8 miles per hour, when submerged. It can also reach up to 8,790 nautical miles, 16,280 kilometers, 10,120 miles, at a steady pace of 8 knots, 15 kilometers per hour, 9.2 miles per hour, on the surface. The maximum diving depth reached was 50 meters, 164 feet 1 inch. Although the exact number of compartments in the SMU-35 is unknown, the following compartments would have been essential for its functioning. Bow and stern torpedo tubes, which house the firing mechanisms and possibly extra torpedoes. Engine room, which contained the diesel engines for propulsion on the surface. Electric motor room, which housed the electric motors for propulsion while submerged battery compartments, which stored the batteries that powered the electric motors, control room, where the submarine's navigation equipment and controls were situated, crew quarters and officer's room, offering living and sleeping accommodations for the crew, galley for cooking and conning tower for command and observation. The U-boat was outfitted with four torpedo tubes, with two located at the bow and two at the stern. Measuring 50 centimeters, 20 inches, and it carried a total of six torpedoes. These torpedo had a range of 2,200 meters, 
2,400 yards, at 35 knots or 5,000 meters, 5,500 yards, at 27 knots. In 1915, U-35 was fitted with an 8.8 .8 centimeters, 3.5 inch, SKL-30 deck gun which had a weight of 644 kilograms, 1,420 pounds and measured approximately 2.64 meters, 8 feet 8 inches, in length. It fired shells weighing 7 kilograms, 15 pounds, and featured a caliber of 88 millimeters, 3.5 inches. This gun could achieve a firing rate of 15 rounds per minute and had a muzzle velocity of 590 meters per second, 1,900 feet per second, which was later upgraded to a 10.5 centimeters, 4.1 inch, SKL-45 gun between 1916 and 1917 which weighed 1,450 kilograms, 3,200 pounds, and measured 472.5 centimeters, 15 feet 6 inches, in length. It featured a horizontal sliding block breech mechanism. It fired shells weighing 17.4 kilograms, 38 pounds, and had a caliber of 10.5 centimeters, 4.1 inches. This gun could fire at a rate of 15 rounds per minute and achieved a muzzle velocity of 710 meters per second, 2,300 feet per second, with an effective firing range of 12,700 meters, 41,700 feet. The crew consisted of four officers and 31 enlisted personnel. Thanks for watching. Kindly hit the like and subscribe button if you like the video.